Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Fabledom. We have successfully courted a Princess Agnes from the realm of Ophiros. We are early on in the relationship. <laughs> we could gift her some tulips and in fact that is our next objective is to to have a first date with Agnes, build a flower farm, plant tulip crops and then gift her tulips problem is we don't have access to any kind of planting right now because it is winter and part of the problem is whoops i keep hitting escape it's just like a a reflex for me it's very strange we don't have any coal it was suggested that i move and i think this is a really good suggestion is moving our our uh sawmills to be much closer to our coal maker i think that's a really good idea because right now people are are tracking are, are gathering or not sorry some else, sorry the lumber camps are tracking wood over here and then it's being hauled all the way over here um so i think it would be nice if we could build a storage I want to get the bakery up and running too, but we need to get this sorted first, I think. A uh, stockpile, that's what it's called. I would like to throw down a stockpile on this side of town. Just like right there is fine. And then what we need to do is we need to unassign... Unassign our workers. One, two, three. And then... Deconstruct our attachment. And then we can... <laughs> you buggers! Alright, we cannot relocate object. I'm a little annoyed <laughs> at them. Did you see all the tooltips that I was looking at? So I was looking at this lumber camp, right? Cannot relocate object with workers. So, remove all workers, right? Cannot relocate object with attachments. Okay, I destroy the forester, right? Because you cannot relocate attachments. Wrong. You cannot relocate this object. I've been lied to. Anyway, let's keep these people working. Let's deconstruct this lumber camp. Well, honestly, we could just keep it going. Just keep them running. Um, it's a little annoying that I deconstructed the lumber camp. Or the uh, deconstructed the attachment for the lumber camp. But we'll make it work. What I would like to do... Areas occupied. Oh. These pigs are in the way. That's fine. Um, we'll put these guys here. Build. Add the attachment. There. And then build a second one. Here. Add the attachment. We're golden. Now, we, once these two are built, then we can deconstruct these two over here. Reassign all of our people to this side of town. And then we'll move our lumber camp... Our sawmill. You can relocate the sawmill. I wonder if it's because this is like attached to trees or something. Where they're like, the, you can't you can't move trees? Are you crazy? I beg to differ. You just need a big enough machine. <laughs> but we have the windmill up, or uh, not up and running necessarily, but we have it ready to go. And then we would like to build the bakery right next door. Like... Like thusly, or is this the bit? Oh, we already got a bakery. Thanks, past Ben. Oh, we finished lumber camp. Okay, so you guys, since you don't have a forester attached, go ahead and get unassigned, reassigned. This stockpile is. Oh, we need a stockpile lot. I totally forgot about that. That's kind of nice that it can like tuck itself behind the existing, uh, the existing lumber camp. And they're building that one, too. Good job. Our workers are so industrious all of a sudden. Destroy. What did that say? Coins spent will be rough funded, but materials are lost. Okay. Well, deconstruct. Oh, no. I really like that building. Well, there's a reason I'm moving this, Mr. Narrator. Getting two new workers. Confirmed demolition. This whole winter is going to be, like, dedicated to me re relaying out my town. Everybody's very cold, so I think everybody's going to be pretty annoyed by the time winter is over here. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Are you guys delivering wood carrying coal? Oh, they're taking coal. Great. That's actually really useful. 
I almost wonder if I shouldn't relocate this stockpile as well. But, uh, you'd have to, like, destroy it and uh, just be kind of messy. I think it'd be nicer if the stockpile was over here. But maybe this stockpile can kind of function the same way. This one, I think it can still be a catch-all. I would like this stockpile to only have, like, coal and wood and, and planks, I guess. Because um, now we can relocate you. Yes. Keep it out of the space of the houses. Great. The big, the big realignment has happened. Wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. Does everybody have a job? No, we have three people without jobs. How is workplaces? Windmill doesn't have anybody. Granary? Sure. Might as well add somebody because we have f we had four people without a job but it looks like everywhere else is fully employed so when when spring rolls around we can and it is spring so let's go ahead and assign these two people in preparation for this wheat field to really kick off stockpile is finished construction grand news and an event Prince Ben, build, produce, expand. Our research shows that you are twice as likely to find a suitable match if your kingdom is grand and effective. What do you say? You're the experts. Building what is needed. S build six homes. I don't really have the need to do this. Because we don't have... Like, we've already built... A all the structures, right? I wish I, I wish I could like go look at at what's up, but I don't think that's right or not. It's not right. Um, I don't think we would have anything to build. It, basically, I think we would build and deconstruct stuff. We might have been close with like the the resource production, but the food production we're already pretty happy with. So, yeah, I, I'm just not convinced that that would have been a, a suitable use of our time. We do need to build more houses here, though. And we're actually starting to get out of the desirability range. Um, so I think I should build a second inn that kind of serves this side of town. I'm just kind of trying to think ahead. And this is a little weird because, like, you're taking up some of the space here. And then we're going to have this funny little... The nice thing about this, like, middle row, though, is you could throw down, like, a lot of decorations to make people, like, really happy. So I think what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll do... I think I'll build, like, four houses... Just nice row of houses here. And maybe, uh, you know what? I'll go all the way and do five. Because we have a ton of money. I think you're out of range of the well. <laughs> you're well out of range of the well. That's another good thing about this. Just like random, uh, not random necessarily, but uh, middle row here is we can just stick a well back there. Totally fine. And then we're going to stack our inn. Uh, where would the inn be? Essential? No. Amenities. I understand about positive whatever. <laughs> and then we'll throw the inn here. And then, they, then we have all of our houses covered with inns and whatnot. Hello, Bob. There's a lot of building going on. Another world event. Okay. I come from a land of profit and investment. I assure you that grain is the coin of tomorrow. What is this, Spice and Wolf? Believe me, I deduced from the weather report you absolutely need to go full grain coin. Excuse me. You've, you've put crypto into my cozy fabledom game. Excuse me. Please take some regular coins and just leave. We need to gather 80 grain in... 30 days. Do we have the... 
We haven't even planted the grain yet. How long does it take grain to grow? Gather 80 grain. That's a tall ask. We either win and gain nobility. Honestly, I'm just going to pay you to go away. Because we gain the same nobility either way. And I'm not confident that we would actually... Um get the amount of grain necessary in the 30 days because the grain isn't growing yet <laughs> so i don't think it would have worked out for us unfortunately the street theater it looks like the street theater takes up the exact same space that the inn does Can I move you? Could I move a, a no Oh, you can. Okay, so let, let them finish the well. And I would like to move the well over one so we can stick, hopefully stick our our theater here. Oh, it's too close to hill. I bet the, the theater can't fit back here. So in that case, maybe this is where you'd want to put your theater. Or maybe just across the way would be fine too. Like right across from the theater. Or from the, the inn. We'll figure it out. Maybe I want to delete this person's house over here and put a theater in there as well. Uh, but we should get our our flower built too. Or our, our flower. Our flower farm built. And I was thinking that would just kind of go over here. Plant 40 tulip crop. Maybe next to the existing farm? 100! Wow. Holy heck, you have to plant 40 plots? Do you see how big this farm is? We've done it. Can I reduce the size of this farm now? Yeah, that just seems crazy. Maybe we'll do it like that. Surround the the existing farm. I love that they put like this funny little hedge between the two though. Dismissing the visitors. We haven't built any of the the queued up houses. I think I'll go ahead and prioritize this house. Maybe we'll get lucky enough to get get our hands on um What am I trying to say? Get our hands on some of the the houses before this goes away. But three days? Oh, maybe? They're building. It's going to be close. Welcome. Huzzah. All right. Does anybody have a job? <laughs> Could, can we assign anybody to a job? This I was wondering about the stone deposit. Because we have this giant stone deposit over here. But I don't think it's necessary to start cracking into that bad boy until this little guy is taken care of all right they're working on we're working on the houses the fields are growing we could start working on the stone masonry though and we could throw this one down next door to this guy we've run out of money we're still making money like crazy, so I'm not super worried about it. I would like to continue prioritizing the houses. I, I, I was seeing some uh, discussion about the coal and how it gets pulled into all of the houses even when it's not winter but i don't think it actually gets consumed and may maybe somebody can correct me on this but i don't think it actually gets consumed when it's not winter i think they're just taking the coal and then just like hoarding it that may be wrong though oh we're harvesting the wheat oh <gasps> exciting I love bread. <laughs> bread is one of my favorite foods. 
So what, like, the fact that we could have bread up and running soon, very exciting for me. They, they've got the grain in storage. Is there a reason you're not processing this into wheat? Oh no, they're, they're doing it. Or I mean, they're bringing wheat. Can I move you? Yes! Alright, I want you to be a little more central for the food production. Because, like, you should be gathering all the vegetables and, and the grain and whatnot. And then delivering it to... Oh, the windmill is moving! <gasps> How exciting! That's so cool. Alright. So we still need to build the flower farm. We still need to build the stone masonry. We have not finished the basic well yet. Which all of these houses need. So that's, you know, kind of a high priority. And then the inn. Yeah, there's a lot of construction happening. Or, you know, desired construction. I think I will build another laborer's camp here. A laborer's hut, I should say. Where did I build the first one? I have no idea. <laughs> it's like somewhere out there. I understand that a workplace requires fablings. We're going to prioritize the laborer's hut because if we can get another laborer's hut going, that should like make all this other stuff go faster, I would assume. And the nice thing is if we just leave the laborer's hut lying around, we can assign and deassign fablings as needed if there's like construction happening. Or, or no construction happening, we can be like, all right, you guys don't need to be assigned to the laborer's hut. One piece of bread. Two bread. Oh, the game has changed. Bread has, has arrived. We're eating bread and vegetables. It's about time we did some celebration. When things are hard, a festival can help everyone get back on track. When things are good, a festival is even more fun. What do you have to lose? Let's party. Adds the buff festival. Increases the happiness by 10, but we spend 100 coins. We could spend nobility. Do we need the happiness? I think everybody's pretty happy. Sorry, everybody. Back to the grindstone with you. Yeah, everybody's at 74. Like, it would kick them up to 84, which would, you know, probably improve, improve their efficiency, but... I just don't think it's really necessary right now. Labor's hut is finished. Add the two whoops. Add the two peasants. Get them get them running like full tilt. Got all the workers assigned. Oh, we don't have anybody assigned to the stockpile. No wonder they're not using it. The inn fully staffed. Working on the flower farm. Or maybe the stone masonry. One of the two. This farm, that farm, windmill. I could just look in the ledger, I suppose, but it's more fun to click through all the buildings, right? Yep, everybody's fully staffed, and I think everybody has a job. Yeah, it looks like it. So we'll need to recruit some more Fablings uh, once the stone masonry and the flower, flower farm come online. Oh, the beanstalk is getting so tall. I can't... Oh, I can just see the top of it. <laughs> I'm as max scrolled out as I can be. Oh, 100 days left. It's about as... Because uh, it started at 219. So I think we have... We're halfway there. And then we can send our hero up the beanstalk. Very exciting. Food is doing great. We're, we're cranking through... Cranking through the wheat. Got, got a little wheat on hand. More visitors, that's great. The more sawmill, or the more planks we produce, the better, I think. What about these pigs? How cute are those pigs? I hope they don't end up getting eaten. What are we doing with these guys? Can we, is there like a pig farm <laughs> that we could utilize later? Because right now I can't, uh, I can't build anything there. They just kind of exist. I'm not sure what to do with the pigs. 
In his finished construction, we can assign one of our new fablings there to increase happiness. Everybody's happy about that. Finished another homestead. We're increasing the available population. Now I wonder, can we jam another one of you in here? It kind of looks like we can. I don't think you can fit the theater in here, though. Oh, you can fit this one in. Entrance is blocked. Too close to hill. What if we did it like... Ah, but then it's not servicing the rest of the houses, unfortunately. This one's so... Ah, uh, it's like this little diagonal. It's too close to the hill because of that diagonal, which is unfortunate. Although we could stick it right here, which isn't so bad. Wait a minute. What about... What if it goes too close to hill? That's right. So it couldn't go here even if we wanted it to. I guess we could put it there. And then we could we could do kind of like a weirdo centralized theater over here. I mean, we don't even really need the theater right now. I'm just like spitballing for future. Like that. And then let's make a little more road. Too close to hill, no! I can't build a road next to the hill? What kind of road is this? Alright, cancel this. Re rearrange the house to be that way. made a clothing clothing line more visitors fantastic news hey we're building the stone masonry i don't even know what's you know carved stone goes in i guess it's probably for fortifications now that i think about it yeah stone wall makes uh requires bricks and then i assume as we get to some sort of uh Some sort of castle construction, we... Some sort of castle, we can we can use the stone, stone bricks for that, too. Let's go ahead and prioritize the farm, or the flower farm. And here I was thinking I was going to go on my first date in this episode. It's taken a lot longer to get flowers up off the ground than I thought it would. Your Grace, we have recently left our own realm due to the horrible conditions we were forced to live in. We were hoping to settle here with you. However, we could use some coin to help us get started. We promised to work hard. We could spend 80 coin to get two peasants. We can spend nobility to get peasants. Kick them out or just say no. I mean, I'm cool with spending money to get even more fablings. Basically, we just got like an extra free... Uh, We just got an extra set of fablings to work with. Can I move you out of the way? Things can't be close to the hill, huh? I kind of regret my choice of where I built you. <laughs> now that I think about it. Ah, man. Fine. So I'd like to build a road to this guy, but maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, the theater takes stone brick. I guess it's a good thing I built the stone mason first, then. Get that flower farm yet? Oh, we're two planks shy. So close. This guy... You've taken some of my planks! How is this possible? I told you to prioritize this thing. <laughs> you got one plank. You're so inefficient, you guys. Hey, we've reached small town. A new population milestone is reached. Well done. We can now call ourselves a small town. Oh, man, they want even more money. 
The commoner is the next tier of fabling class. They live in townhouses, pay more taxes, and can perform more complex jobs, but they require more to remain happy. Received 300 coins, and we gained access to the condominium. A hub for the townhouse area. Workers provide resources to the attached housing. And then townhouses, the second tier of housing, will automatically adapt to its surroundings. Residents here pay a higher tax than a homestead, but are more demanding. Town shop functions as a resource seller, perfect to shorten the trips required by workers in the area. Town well, sewer drain. Holy cow, stuff has gotten wild. Cobblestone. What's the difference between rounded and sharp? They look identical to me. Huh. The condominium is the hub for the next level of housing, the townhouse. This is where commoners live. Town shops are also a part of the condominium and can store resources for convenience as well as added desirability to the area. Oh, this is kind of wild. Neat. I wonder... Oh, they don't like that other... That the commoners live nearby. Huh. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> I wonder if what we should do then is we should replace some of this... These uh, homesteads down here with condominiums. I, I just keep uh, pausing and unpausing. Because it needs a town well. It needs a sewer grate. But if we demolish all of these and like move them into the condominium... That's kind of an interesting idea. So like, it must be a th at least a three by three. What if we do like thusly, or maybe we expand like the whole space, like go crazy with it. Like this huge space here. That's cool. I like that. It's gonna take, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> Don't build that thing. All right. Hold on. We'll build it small and then we could expand out from there maybe. So a little three by three takes 40 brick. We have one. All right. Don't do that. This is, but I like this for the future. So the future plan is I would love to pull. Oh, you can stick sewer drains on the roads. That's awesome. So the, I, what I would like to do is I would like to stack up this place to build um, a condominium thing here. I I'll, This would actually also be kind of nice is to build it so this road could go up the wall, up the hill here. I don't know. Maybe that's not even possible. Also, we haven't unlocked the region, so I, I can't even really tell. What on earth is this? prismatic liquid what do you do with that i'm so distracted anyway this this whole section of town it would be really cool to set it up to be condos from the get-go so as we like replace some of these houses we could swap them over to condominiums um but for now i think i want to not actually execute this because we should build up and it's a lot of money. We should build up a stockpile of planks and bricks. So we can like build this. Build this like all in one go rather than being like, all right, some of you can move in. You know, does that make sense? Flower farm is up. Let's get our two workers in there. Based on that, though, I think I want to hold off on increasing the population of our peop or our town by too much, because I think it would it would be a easy way to kind of like overwhelm any kind of equilibrium we've found if we continue to add peasants when I'm trying to set up like the the future condominium zone. So I think let's try and continue to gather resources. We'll we'll continue this guy. Uh, oh, well, no, that doesn't matter. I for, I always forget about the, the undesirable sounds, but thankfully we didn't put any of our houses in there. Uh, the farms are not affected by undesirability rating. These guys are out farming flowers. Hopefully we'll be able to get a hundred before, uh, before winter, because it'd be nice if we could ha go out on a date with Agnes. 
relatively soon. But the bread production is up and running. That's very fun for me. Um, I'm excited. And then, like I said, we're going to continue processing these resources uh, to make even more, more stone. And maybe what we should do... Because we do have, like, one extra guy that, that will be able to move in. Maybe... We, and I think we have two unemployed people, too. Maybe we should get another another brick maker up and running so we can try and get that condominium thing up and running uh, even faster please accept this gift from your big sister <gasps> the best sister ever she gave me planks and stones the greatest sister of all time she's a super sister also where did 20 I feel like 20 stone just, like, appeared into my inventory. <laughs> Somehow, I'm not sure how that happened. But, uh, yeah, I think we will make a second one of you. Because it would be good... Oh, not an, not an iron quarry. Uh, it would be good to get even more of those bricks going. But we don't want to make a negative impact on our housing. Remember that. I guess right here would be a good place for the second stone brick to go. But these guys need to empty out these... Or uh, the stone the stone mason need to go, but they need to empty out this, uh, this chest first for me. Come on, somebody could grab this last two bricks. Anybody. I'm begging you guys. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anybody? Can anybody come get these bricks? I just see all these these little fablings running on by, and they're like, nah, I'll get that later, man. Our food production's doing great. We don't have access... Oh. Yeah, one peasant, please. Yeah, just the one. Pretty please? I just really want to put this down before I forget to do it. Anybody? For the, the Arena of Trials! A great reward awaits the one who manages to defeat all the enemies in the area. Click the button to spawn one out of seven waves on the sands of the arena. These fighters will remain in the arena and will only attack soldiers. Great. <laughs> Alright, let's... let's uh, <laughs> they, they refuse to, to do this. I just want to... I just want to clean this out so I can put the stonemason down. Alright. They refuse to do it. We can move the stonemason later anyway. Uh, or move uh, move it. Not remove it. Um, this much coin coming in. Surely you can spare some for your old friend? We have a crazy amount of coin. Finance, a new dragon. All right. We'll let them build this thing, and then I'll move it after the fact. So let's pause the episode there. If you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Fabledom or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.